title clips can be added at the beginning and or between any two clips on the timeline. Title clips are helpful to introduce your video, a new topic or section within your video, or even to use as an end slide to conclude your video. To add a title clip, click on the Title Clips tab. If you don't see the Title Clips tab, then look for it under the More menu. A title clip will be added on the video track at or near the location of the playhead. If the playhead resides in a location that isn't split, the title clip will be placed in the next possible position to the right of the playhead. It will not automatically split the clip for you. Since I want a title clip at the beginning of my video, I'll click and drag the playhead to the start of the timeline. Now click the Add Title Clip button and a new clip is added to the beginning of the timeline. Notice that all media is moved to the right on the timeline to keep everything in sync, as long as none of the tracks are locked. To add text to the title clip, just enter it here like any basic text editor. Highlight the text and modify the look and feel using these formatting toolbars. Use this color palette to change the background color of the title clip, or click this icon to import a custom image to use as the background. Reposition the text by dragging any of the edges of the text box in the preview window. There are a couple ways to resize the length of the title clip on the timeline. One way is to click and drag the right edge of the clip to resize it. If you want to be sure that it's an exact duration, like say 3 seconds, right click the clip and choose title duration from the menu. Enter the number of seconds and click OK. As you can see, the title clip is also added to the clip bin for this project. From here, you can drag it to a new position on the timeline and edit the text to fit the new title clip, or use it as an end slide. To edit a title clip, double click it on the timeline and it will reopen in the Title Clips tab. Any changes made here will automatically be updated to the selected clip on the timeline. Check out the next video in this Getting Started series to learn how to add a transition.